Hi everyone. One of the things I want to show you today is the new antenna feature we have uh, that if you are an antenna designer, I think you might get pretty excited about. When you're making antennas, for example, in communication systems, well, say a phased array, or say a single antenna with multiple feed points, you are doing this probably to steer the beam. Now to do that, you have to put a different amplitude and phase into each port of the antenna so the beam steers. Well, that means a power amplifier, so it really should be included in the simulation. Furthermore, if the beam steers, the input impedance to each port changes. And guess what happens with a power amplifier? Its performance depends on the impedance of the ports it's coupling to. So we have a situation here where we have a power amplifier and an antenna system coupling together. The circuitry and the antenna talk back and forth. With this new feature called in situ antenna measurements, we actually can model that for you. In this example you're seeing right here, I've simplified our problem a little bit and I'm not showing you a full power amplifier. Uh, I'm just showing you a power source and over here on the left, this port one, uh, is just that. It's zero dBm or one milliwatt of power. We go through a splitter, so we're going to be putting equal power into each of the two lines. This phase shifter changes the phase relative of one line's phase to the other, and this is what will allow the pattern to change. And we come into the antenna over here on the right. Uh, the antenna I'm going to show you in a second is a single antenna. It's uh, concentric patches, one above the other, ra rather typical in these communication type systems. Here is the antenna, the 2D version of it. Uh, notice, for example, there are two ports here, ports one and two. One is talking to the top radiator, one to the bottom. Notice also we actually have put in here uh, where my cursor is these equations that allow us to change the dimensions of the antenna. So one thing the designer could be doing is making the antenna larger, smaller, changing the thickness of the substrate, etc. For example, to meet some optimization goals. Let's take a look at the 3D picture and I've also am showing you the antenna pattern here uh, for a given excitation. If I bring up the tuner uh, back in the schematic, that phase shifter was set up for tuning. And so as I move this guy, the uh, phase shift between the two ports changes, which changes the antenna pattern. Uh, it is all coupled uh, right in there with the antenna. Uh, for 2D graphs, similar situation. Uh, here you have um, for example, our uh, E phi and E theta patterns. And again, as I change the phase of the driving line, uh, the pattern changes, as we would expect. If we went ahead and looked at plots of the input impedance of the patches, you could also see them change. One of the things I would like to emphasize here, in our software, if I can tune something, which you see I'm doing, I can optimize on it. So for example, here under optimizer goals on the left, uh, if you're familiar with our software, we actually are optimizing the S11, the return loss from the antenna uh, for a, a given polarization, which would be fairly easy to do with this new measurement. So in conclusion, what we have here is a way now to couple circuitry, power amplifiers for example, to antennas like arrays, uh, and dual radiating patches, anything with two or more ports. The pattern affects the amplifier, the amplifier affects the pattern, it's all coupled together and we can easily now uh, work with that situation. Thanks a lot everyone, have a great day. Mm -hmm.